side we're going to show you you can use the seamless pro single side tape to make your own hair extension clip in hair extensions we've been asked many times can we use your single side so we thought we better show you that you can so i took two wefts and i basically just made two of our single sides added the glue and made the weft i'm just going to show you real quick here I'll show you I'll make one for you but this is done and this has been drying for a day so um, I always like to go back and accordion which means pressing it together like this so if there's any holes or gaps that didn't glue right you can come back take your liquid gold bond weave and open it and you can see here it didn't really at the top glue very well. So I'm just going to put a dab in there, press it, and let it dry. But you can still use this and install. Okay, so once you've added a little bit of glue into the weft to fix it, you want to go ahead and let that sit a good 10 minutes. You want to put this on. Let me see. So this is just a little clip. I wanted to show you that you can use this tape. We're asked all the time. So let me go right here and show you basically that you can put your needle through it so it will go right in there and so meaning you can go ahead and make your clip in I want to make sure my clip is right here so it's on this side and I'm just going to do it this way so yeah you can definitely make your clip ins however you want to sew it back and forth and that is how you can make your clip-in wefts um, hair extensions using our Seamless Pro only. Okay, so we went ahead and, like I say, we cut off the machine weft and made a weft, just like you would any other ponytail weft. So, like I say, we always say when you make a weft, you want to go back the next day and accordion it because this kind of hair usually has some sort of silicone or and you know just darn if that glue just sometimes does not want to um, stick to all of it right away so there you have it you can make your clip-in hair extensions using our seamless pro only so um, that just wanted to show girls that you can do it and beautiful alright so there's one little thing I wanted to show you um, for those that don't understand also you can take Let's say you've made a hair weft with our hair wefting tape and you decided you want to go ahead and um, cover that and make your own extensions using the single side. So what we're going to do is show you also, so here is some, uh, I'm going to cover this real quick with the single side. And so you have single side on this side, hair wefting tape on this side. I just want to show the girls that have already made it. Can you do it? Yes, you can. So you want to cover these up. And once that's covered, covered it with the single side. And you want to go ahead and see if that works. And I'm just going to show you here. Again, the needle goes right through. Not a problem. So again, you can... Oops, it's trying to get away. You can go ahead and make your clip ins. I just want to make sure this clips the right way. All right, so you can make your clip ins again, however, or wherever you want to put it, um, and sew it through. So again, there you are. Um, it goes through the hair wefting tape and the single side, and then you can make clip ins, all sorts of clip ins. So, yes. The single side is used and can be used to make hair extensions of your own. Also, another tip and trick I wanted to show you. Let me see. Here is the single side Seamless Pro. And I'm going to show you this is how I did it. I just took my liquid gold glue, put it across. And we always put a good amount there. And then, like I say, you've got to make sure that this is washed and dried first because there's always a lot of silicone on these hairs. And that's what makes it hard for this stuff to stick. So I'm going right above it, 
pressing in, pushing down. You can use whatever you want. Again, liquid gold glue goes across. And we're just going to push that in there. And then we want to go ahead, take your Seamless Pro, and pull out the backing and add that right there and then add your clips. Let it dry 24 hours and then add your clips. Um, before I do this, I wanted to show you something. Uh, I had one more really cool idea. So people ask me all the time, you know, how does this liquid gold glue dry? Sometimes it dries, you know, different colors. This one dried really nice and it's supposed to dry clear. So for brown hair and light brown hair, that looks pretty great um, color-wise. Dark hair, it does the same thing, but if you want it to be black, you can go ahead. I used a little Rit dye, and I took, let me see, I just want to show you how this works. You can take Rit dye hair, and if you want, just dab a little into your glue, mix it around. And if you want, you can go ahead and then take it this way or, you know, make it up in a whole big thing of black. I'm not sure how much of how much. So, uh, but just as an idea, you can then go back and get your glue, go across it like I was showing you, and then take some of your glue and add that into, and take some of your dye and add it into the glue. And now your glue will be a black color. So let me show you this versus um, maybe the orange that a lot of people feel they don't know if it's going to dry not orange. So let me show you here. But like I say, most of the time it just dries that color. It will dry black on this side and it'll dry black on that side. But if you're really worried about it, you can try a little Rit dye, depending on whatever color hair that you have. Okay, so again, let it dry 24 hours. Just wanted to show you that you can make clip-ins um, using our Seamless Pro. And um, just thought I'd give you a little tip and trick here. Okay, well, I hope you uh, all get to make your clip-ins now. And um, so all the girls that have asked questions and really didn't understand how it's done, you can also, like I say, use our, here, let me show you. This one I covered, this one was made with hair wefting tape, so that means it was sticky on both sides. And I went ahead and I covered it with the single side, single side. And now, again, um, and this was an old weft that I re-wefted. I just wanted to show you. Again, we'll take the needles and show you that, yes, you can go right through it. Not a problem. And again, this was a light color. I didn't use anything but the liquid gold glue on this, and that color matches this hair pretty well. But if you have a color preference, and you're, I would just give it a little bit of this, and not too much uh, of the dye. Just, just get it so the color matches for you. Okay, hope that helps. HairWeftingTape.com is where you can get your Seamless Pro 2 single side. Just want to show a real quick um, video of just washing this the next day. Actually, you were supposed to wait two days, but I wanted people to see what happens when you do wash um, your clip-ins and or your hair extensions using our Seamless Pro Tape. So here it is in this pretty warm water. Um, just wanted to get it nice and saturated so you see that it's not falling apart. This is the extension I used in the video. Just wanted to show you real quick here and run it as good. All right, so we wash these and just wanted to show you that they're still intact. Not a problem. They're not going anywhere. So when you're making your clip-ins or your hair extensions, you know that using our hair wefting tape or Seamless Pro, these will work just fine.